classic matchup. So the main things to watch out for in this matchup are the ways in which Fox is able to bait Lucina into throwing out hitboxes, and the ways in which Lucina is able to make sure that her spacing is, is fine and is, is threatening Fox in an efficacious way. So with Stretch on the ledge here, in the corner here, it's always interesting because Lucina, uh, while she does have pretty okay aerial drift, her acceleration seems to kind of leave something to be desired. It can be difficult for Lucina to get out of the corner without like a burst movement option like the roll you saw there, or even just like a, a neutral wing from an like, F-tilt. And honestly, you can see just able to convert that corner pressure into so much damage and manages to get the kill relatively early while being somewhat untouched at only 35%. Really smart stuff using the side B to fall there into the forward air. Really interesting uh, from Stretch using that to sort of uh, catch Odyssey waiting for him to land on him with the Florida. Really smart stuff. And I really love seeing uh, people take Lucina's moveset and use it in really interesting ways. Those side B falling mix up, uh, mix ups are something that Stretch employs quite a bit. And there's something that's really interesting, particularly if you play Lucina, it's something to really consider incorporating into the game. But Odyssey really just really playing very dominantly. Um, we'll see what Church is able to do in the corner, and again, that side beat, but a really weird, it almost looks like a wall tech into a, a wave bounce uh, up beat, uh, able to not only get the tech and, and make it back to stage, but actually start the up beat on the stage. So at this point, Stretch obviously at, at something of a deficit, uh, and it, it'll be really interesting to see what he does to kind of try and convert this play. Oh my god, goes all the way down there with the forward air. Unable to get the kill, but really impressive way to get just a little bit more damage out of that stock. Oh, has the weight, uh, obviously, on the roll from Stretch, but unable to really convert into anything. Uh, maybe just like a little too slow on the, uh, the punish, but it definitely feels like he's sort of sniffed out the ledge options. So, I mean, next time it, it seems like Odyssey will really have it. Again, using that side B as sort of an aerial uh, mobility mix-up. And Stretch managing to sort of uh, definitely put on a lot of pressure this stock, but that back air is just going to trade and take it for Odyssey. Uh, definitely a dominant game one from Odyssey, but it definitely felt like Stretch kind of found his footing a little bit towards the end of that game. Uh, I'm interested to see what he goes for in terms of stay. Seems to, uh, it seems like the bands from Odyssey are Smashville and Yoshi's. Yoshi is kind of a very unpopular stage for a lot of people. Uh, it definitely has a lot of a weird set of attributes. Uh, the, the characters that do well on Yoshi's tend to do very well on it, and, and Lucina is certainly one of those. Interesting decision from Odyssey to switch over to Palutena after having won game one. Always a really interesting choice where uh, you see someone pick after having won, but uh, it's definitely a choice that I really respect. Um, you know, don't don't wait around for your opponent to uh, adapt to what you're doing and maybe just throw something new at them. Uh, so I'm interested to see what this Palutena does. And similar to the Fox that we saw earlier, it really seems like the, the game plan from Odyssey is to just use this incredible movement to generate openings on stretch. That dash attack from Palutena, really excellent. And the fact that it has a shield hitbox is really interesting. Manages to kind of get the shine spike with the Nair there. Uh, really, you know, Palutena uh, off stage is a really difficult character for characters like Lucina to contend with just because she's so good at kind of punishing those injuries. And really good from Stretch to up the out of shield to get, uh, you know, get some damage on Odyssey, sort of reset the neutral, uh, you know, get something there. Like Oh, Nair to back air. And again, you can really see that uh, Odyssey's using that dash chance, and there the dash back after pressuring the stretch with shield to just try and sort of attempt to get stretch to commit to an option because Lucina's options are, are somewhat laggy and are often kind of committal. Like, for example, she can't double fair in the way that she's able to other games. So, definitely putting a lot of pressure on stretch. 
really smart stuff from Odyssey, but unfortunately, messing up Lucina's up B, you're gonna lose the stop. Uh, Stretch definitely keeping it close. I like this use of side beam from Stretch a lot. Uh, goes for the forward air with a slight delay off of the ledge hop to catch Odyssey going for the parry, you can see there, but he actually dropped shield just before the forward air connected. So really great timing that's up from Stretch. Uh, something that's becoming very important, but Wow, what an interesting up smash man. Just to catch the, uh, what looked like, a, I believe, a, an attempted spot dodge cancel. So really smart stuff from Odyssey, going for a confident up smash to see the stock. But of course, nothing that's insurmountable for Stretch. Really, uh, definitely very doable. I, I love that up the, uh, out of combos, especially in midair. It's something that some people aren't necessarily always confident with, but Stretch certainly is, and certainly uses it to get out of combos when people go for untrue conversions. So Odyssey's certainly closing in, but he's definitely at uh, the percent where you're liable to die. It looks like Stretch kind of going for that Nair 1 F smash that Lucina can really kill with very, uh, very early and very easily. Uh, definitely kind of puts pressure in the same way that a Joker might, where the falling aerials are significantly more dangerous than the rising ones. Uh, but definitely as the percent rises, it becomes much more possible for Lucina to get kills with landing aerials, uh, or with rising aerials, which is definitely really important. Now you can see that Odyssey, in an attempt to not get forward aired off stage, tries to pick the spot that's directly you know, parallel to the stage. That's like max range for Palatine's Solicorp. And that's generally pretty safe from getting edge guard from Lucina. Oh my god, what a conversion from Stretch. Really impressive stuff getting 52% in, in one interaction, I'm told. And Stretch really getting closer and closer here. But the grab's gonna send him off stage at 121. The side B really, really, like, ni almost nicking him. And, and perhaps if it was later in the side B, it would have hit him. But Stretch just gets out of it. The back throw not going to do it quite yet, but you can see the little blue diamond on the radar really uh, nicking the end. Uh, so Stretch definitely needs to start getting some conversions, he's got the back air. Oh, and that looks like he's going to do it for Odyssey, but uh, close games from Stretch and a really interesting set. Yeah, some really solid stuff all around uh, from the two of them. Odyssey going to be moving on with an impressive showing from both his Fox and his Palutena.